So I decided to go to La Gallofo. I don't know why, something was telling me to come here. And I was just like, this is the cafe I'm gonna go to. And then I ran into two of my friends, whom I studied with at the university, and Sam Samora. Sa <laughs> Sorry, I'm terrible with names, and I got her name today. Samira and Chris. And they're gonna say hi to you guys real quick. Hi. What do you do? <laughs> And I'm going to the airport now, and it, I'm really sad to say bye to Santander, but it's time. I just had like the worst experience with a security check-in. They wouldn't let me bring my skateboard under the plane, and I went back to check it in, and I had to pay $75 to bring it with me. So I just decided to leave it behind after paying a ton of money for it, um, which was a big hit. I was really disappointed. Michael League signed that skateboard. Michael League signed that skateboard and I had to leave it behind. I couldn't even bring my water bottle with me. I couldn't, <laughs> they threw away my water bottle because apparently I can't drink water in here. She wouldn't even warn me that I couldn't drink my water. She just like threw it away. It was a terrible experience. If you can avoid coming to the Santander airport, please avoid it. The security officials who work here are not friendly whatsoever. The electricity just went out in the airport and the lights are off in the boarding room. Can you believe that? The lights went out. So I did end up ditching my skateboard, I th but I just went outside the rotating door of the airport and I just chucked it in a direction and just like walked back in. I had a lot of good luck on that board too. I had a great skate session a couple days ago with all my new friends I made. Uh, I got three skateboards at home waiting for me. <laughs> we finally boarded this tiny plane, which admittedly enough, is more comfortable than the larger plane that we take from Boston to Madrid. It has more leg space. I have to go through a shopping center full of eloquent fragrances. This is how they get you, man. They make you walk through a shopping center and then sooner or later, you come out of the other side with like 200 bucks less to your name. Spend that money, spend that money. It's 9.45 a.m. I've got three hours till my flight leaves and um, I'm gonna do some stretching and get my body warmed up and feeling good uh, before I settle down on my computer and get some work done maybe do some reading I've got plenty of articles and books here I can read Pretty much everyone in this line waiting on the plane is super stressed out waiting to get on. Whether it's because there's a long line and they have to wait patiently or because they're afraid there's too many people that are going to board the plane. <laughs> I realize I've been doing a lot of complaining in this vlog and I'm, I'm really not one to complain. They made me leave behind my skateboard in Santander and I see some dude with a skateboard in line right there. So. That's just, that's just not okay. So how was it that I'm flying with Iberia and that other dude was flying with Iberia and he could bring his skateboard on the plane and I couldn't bring mine on the plane? I'm not happy about that. I'm not happy about this whole experience riding with Iberia. This whole video is going to be basically about how Iberia has made me upset. <laughs> Someone warned me about Iberia, but I didn't, I didn't know it was, it was like this. I mean, flying's flying, you know, you just kind of get where you're going. But the service has been really bad and highly disorganized.
landed. I'm so excited to be back home of the high-speed internet and great public transportation. I love you, Boston. Not trying to get into any sort of trouble and record them, but that was a cute little beagle sniffing bags.